Hello and welcome back to the Brandon Can Win channel. And uh, first, before anything, I want to apologize for the gameplay footage you're about to see in the background. Because, you know, I want to throw this video together pretty quick because I don't really have m too much to say about this topic. But, um, I will say, I haven't played Arkham Knight in a minute, so the footage you see might be a little bit rough. So, just take it easy on me in the comments if you want to comment on my gameplay. I'm, I'm sorry. Anyways, on to the topic at hand. I need to start by saying I am a freshly new Arkham fan, and when I saw that there was going to be a new Batman Arkham game being dropped, I was excited at first. Yeah, I said at first. We're going to get to that. Why I said that. But, you know, I was excited. I was like, oh, this is going to be cool. I get to know what it feels like to, you know, be here, an Arkham fan when a new Arkham game drops, besides Suicide Squad, but, you know, this is a Batman Arkham. So, it's a whole nother level, and, yeah, so let's talk about the trailer first, and then we'll talk about the details about the actual game itself. So, let's start with where this, when this might take place. And obviously, it's gonna be before Suicide Squad killed the Justice League, and it looks like it's gonna be between Arkham Origins and Arkham Asylum, based on a couple things. One, there's a vote for Dent, a button in the trailer as well as an advertisement for Dr. Harleen Quinzel on a newspaper Basically saying this is before Harvey Dent was Two-Face and this is before Harleen Quinzel became Harley Quinn Another thing that is alluded in this is who the main villain is gonna be It looks like it's gonna be the villain named Ratcatcher I'm gonna be honest with you I don't know much about Ratcatcher He's one of those Batman villains that I don't really know about since I'm kind of still di dipping my toes into DC a bit, I mainly only know like the main Batman villains. Like I know Penguin, I know Joker, I know Two-Face, I know Scarecrow, I know Harley Quinn. But like when it comes to Ratcatcher, when it comes to Mad Hatter, like when it comes to Firefly, I don't really know much about these villains so i guess it's cool that rat catcher is getting the spotlight here because i'm sure there's a lot of rat catcher fans out there so i'm happy for you now let's talk about some speculation stuff so first well i already talked about one this probably is going to take place between arkham origins and asylum we don't know that 100 percent for sure but based on what we saw in the trailer it's pretty much confirmed but you know it's also just kind of a it this might be the case because you know it's like they're showing it to us they're pointing it at us it's like hey this is when it takes place but they haven't straight out said that it takes place then so another thing we know is that it's going to be developed by the team that made iron man vr which i never played because i don't really play many vr games i play like vr chat and i've played beat saber but that's kind of it but apparently iron man vr was really good and they're the ones developing it so yeah um, this makes studio number three that's working on the Arkham franchise, so that's kind of cool. I really hope they do a good job. Now, you probably just paused for a sec, because you're like, wait. They made Iron Man VR, so they're making a Batman Arkham game? Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Batman Arkham Shadow is a VR game. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Hear me out. Let me cook. As they say. VR game doesn't mean bad automatically. It just means, in my eyes, less accessible. Because VR headsets, I feel, can be more expensive than consoles in multiple ways. Like, one, you have to have a good PC to run Oculus and, like, you know, VR games well. Like, you can't just run it on, like, a cheap laptop or something and call it a day. But yeah, there are plenty of good VR games, like, I've heard, um, Half-Life Alex was pretty solid. I mentioned it before, Iron Man VR I've heard was pretty good. And you know, there's plenty of good VR games out there. It's not for me personally, especially with the really bad news that I'm gonna tell you guys in a moment. So let's talk about what kind of experience it's probably gonna be. Now, I don't think this is gonna be a little tech demo, okay? Like I said, these guys worked on Iron Man VR, so I'm sure that it's going to be... If it's going to be an experience, it's going to be a decently decent length one. 
and I think it's gonna be straight up horror. Like, if you look at the Batman Arkham franchise as a whole, there are a lot of moments that are really scary. I mean, <laughs> in Arkham Knight, when you're just like flat, like grappling around uh, Gotham, all of a sudden you get a man bat jump scare. <laughs> like, it's hilarious watching reactions, honestly. Everyone should lead me to the exact location. <laughs> But yeah, that shit was scary. There's a lot of scary stuff in the Arkham games, like the Scarecrow segments. Like, the Scarecrow segments in even Asylum and in Night were both pretty freaking scary. And the fact it's called Arkham Shadow and, you know, you're going to be probably surrounded by rats. If you have a rat phobia, oh my gosh, you're probably not going to like this game. But yeah, I do feel like this will be truly a horror experience that's probably worth honestly trying out. It's just a shame, this is where the, this is the really bad news, that it's exclusive to the Meta Quest 3. God damn it. See, I would consider trying it out if it was for like all VR, you know, like if it was for, if you could play it on the Oculus Rift, if you could play it on, honestly, that's the only one I can think of besides the Meta Quest right now. But you know what I mean, right? Like. If you have a different VR headset, that's already like 500 plus dollars. If you want to play Batman Arkham Shadow, you have to buy exclusively this piece of crap that Mark Zuckerberg just vomited out his ah! asshole, which doesn't happen. That's... or whatever. And you have to deal with that. Sorry, there's just something that happened with me in my personal life recently involving someone spending money on Facebook with my bank account. I'm just a little salty about that. <laughs> but I just, I don't know. I don't feel very good about this. I don't feel any hype for this because of the fact that it's going to be on the Meta Quest 3. And I ain't going to spend, you know, a shit ton of money on another headset just to play that. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, if you're an Arkham fan, you miss Arkham Batman, and... You happen to have or get a Meta Quest 3. On June 7th, there's going to be a showcase of the game a little bit during the Summer Game Fest on June 7th. Go watch that, and I'm going to watch it too, probably. If I am free that day, I might watch it. But, you know, I hope you guys enjoy it for those who are looking forward to it. For those who are excited for it, I'm happy for you. Personally, this is not a game I'm very much interested in for the fact that it's VR. If it was like an actual new mainline Arkham game that was like, you know, the normal, what we know for like the Arkham Batman games, I would probably cover this a lot more, but I don't want to promise much coverage for this game as of now. But I did want to acknowledge that this is a thing that's going to come out and I am in fact happy for the people who will be excited for this game because I'm sure there's a lot of you out there who are genuinely excited for this and I'm happy for you. So yeah, I figured I would just talk about this game for a second because, you know, like I mentioned earlier, I've been covering a lot of Arkham. I know a lot of you have come for Arkham content. Sorry to disappoint that I'm not going to be covering this a lot more, but I will continue with my Suicide Squad coverage when it comes to each episode coming out. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, hit notification bell when you do. And uh, yeah, so long and good night.